Dude, all I'm saying is that Digimon's theme song, Sam, is so much better than Pokemon. Um, it's poem? Welcome back me? to another edition of The Average Viewer. I'm Alex. I'm and Matt. as always, that is Matt, my other co-host. Today, we're going to give you a couple of predictions of what we think are going to happen in Stranger Things Part Dose. of Season 4. Matt, why don't you kick us off? What do you think a prediction is? So, like I said in our last video, loved Part 1. Cannot wait for Fantastic. Part 2. I think in Part 2... The Cali crew, uh, minus 11, she had a big part. The Cali crew is kind of the C team of season one, and I think they're going to be the A team of season two. I think we're going to see more Mike. I think we're going to see more Will. I think we're going to see more Jonathan, Argyle, all of them. And I just think that we're just going to see a lot more of them. And we know that Will and Jonathan have their nice little hug at the end. And I believe that they're also going to take Susie with them. I really enjoy them. I think we should see more of them. And I think the last time we saw them, they were with Susie and Eden. I think Susie's going to go with them I think to walk in. Go. I think Eden, Eden might go. They're both going to go. I think the dad's not going to let them go because they, 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 they're not going to mention a dad without him being having a somewhat bigger part, I believe. Right. And I think she's going to go, you got to go with your little sister. I can't wait for Susie to meet her dusty buddy in person. Dude, it's gonna be. Do you awesome. think they're gonna sing? Do you think they have to? They have to. It's it's gonna it's gonna be amazing. I think we need to see it. Yeah, I, I do. I can't wait for that if that happens. Um, one of my predictions for season two is I think Erica or AKA Lady Applebottom is going to be the main person or one of the main reasons. Um, that they do overcome and kill Vecna. Are you saying that because she she's the one who won? I'm saying that because when they did play D&D in the beginning of the season, she was the one to strike the critical 20 hit on Vecna after Dustin failed. Can I just say, Go as on. someone who plays D&D, the fact that she needed and she knew she needed a 20, that's high stakes, man. That is crazy. It could have been something back in the day from 80s D&D. We weren't there. But, yeah, getting a 20 to kill somebody, that's that's 5%. You're basically, that's an L. So. If your DM goes, hey, you need a 20 to do this, you just know, like... They don't want you to do it's that. It's not happening, but it happened. It did. So you think she's going to be the reason? I think she's, she's going to be gonna part be... of the reason that Vecna... I do, yes. Yeah, so that's one of my predictions. What about you? What's another prediction um, for season season four, part two? So during Stranger the things. end of, of part one, in the Upside Down, we see Eddie and Steve talking. And Eddie mentions a very famous singer that we all love and enjoy, even here in the 2022s, is our friend Ozzy Osbourne. Ozzy! And he mentions how Ozzy has bitten a bats head off before and i think during the trailer we see eddie rocking and, sl and just sliding his fingers up and down that guitar making the girls go wild and i think during that scene Hi. during that scene i think he's gonna grab i'm I, it's not gonna be this dramatic but he's gonna be rocking he's just gonna swat a bat out of the sky rip its head off throw it on the ground and just keep rocking and that is one of my predictions i really hope we see eddie Ever since they introduced the bat, I was like, he's going to bite it off. He's going to bite the head off. It has to be. It has to be. That is a great prediction. I think that might happen. Um, another prediction for me is, I think Will, if the cat, or if his friends isn't careful, could quote-unquote turn into another Vecna. Um, he is a very sensitive child. He has always been a connection with the underground. I feel like someday he could snap and have powers kind of like Levin and or Vecna and one. Um, if he's not, not kept in check, but if he still, if he feels so alone, kind of like, uh, Vecna did when he was a child moving to the new place, his, his mom didn't really care, he didn't have a lot of friends. That is what Will feels like right now in California. Hopefully they can change that, but I think he could become powerful at some point. Sorry to tell you, Alex, you're wrong. It's the same thing as like Harry Potter. The difference between Voldemort and Harry Potter was love. Harry had love, Voldemort never knew love. Vecna's a bitch, Will's not. Will has friends. He wasn't a lonely kid and that had no friends and his parents didn't really pay attention to him. Will's mom loves him. His friends love him. I mean, I know he's feeling a little bit of abandonment right now, but he even had that scene with Mike that was really nice where Mike's like, hey man, you're my best friend. Like, Yeah, no, they did cheer him up at the end of part one. And so, What's another prediction that you have, though? A prediction I have is, speaking of Will... The prediction I think everybody that watches that is watching the show is having is that Will 
is more than likely going to come out this season, if not this season, next season. And if he doesn't, then we're all wrong. Everyone that watches the show is just stupid, and our gaydar is so off. I don't know if I should say that. Didn't Mike say in an earlier season it wasn't his fault that Will didn't like girls? It is. He did say that in an so earlier season. So it it did, they did lay, lay it down. Um, and what the hell is that picture? I can't wait to see what that picture is. I hope it's a butt-ass naked picture of Mike, but we will see. But I personally think the picture is going to somehow connect to the underground and somehow have a connection to Vecna, and it's going to be a major part in them saving um, Hawkins. I agree. I low-key believe that Will has been having dreams again and visions and that he has been drawing them. But I also don't know if that's true because I think he just would have straight up told them, like, hey, guys, I'm having visions again. I think it's going to be something like Will. it's going to be a picture of Will and him, and in the background it's going to be like, the rosy stained glass window or some sort of connection that puts the final piece together because he's scared to show the picture and the picture is going to end up being a key to be like, Oh my gosh, that's the final piece. We got to go here to save him. So I think we both can agree that will is going to be a huge part still because mm -hmm. if we remember our connections to the upside down are will and 11, there's no one really else in our world that is a connection to the upside down. Will was the first one that we know of in the show that's been in it. And Eleven has powers to close and open the portals. So those two, Will, Will and Eleven, they have to be something big and important in this. It does. And uh, let me get to another prediction that I think. Now, um, I believe that Robin is going to be able to save Nancy when it comes time for her favorite song. Oh. Now, we all know in the final episode of season four, episode two, Nancy... Started having visions. She's she's uh, she's under the curse of Vecna. I don't think she started having visions. I think she was like her first vision was the was literally Vecna going, "You're not leaving here," because she tried to leave the upside down, and when she fell, she literally fell in front of Vecna or whatever, and she and it was and then she was in the trance in the real in the okay. And, and and the crazy part about that is she's not even in a trance in the real world. She's in a trance in the upside down about being in the upside down so a prediction on that i'm sorry to interrupt your prediction no problem vecna's world is not the upside down because she is in the upside down and she so right now third world is in i think she's in vecna's mind because remember he said Ooh. everyone's with me i think that world of the house is vecna's mind that he is dragging people into because okay. then he sucks their brain out of their head into his head because he said they all live with me okay. and in his head we saw fred and everyone else still wrapped up and in, in that thing i understand well, that's and my that's prediction why are you here because oh that is so if nancy does get cursed and she does see the clock and she has to be saved i believe that robin is going to end up knowing the song to save nancy because earlier in the season when they were in nancy's room Robin went state for the cassettes and the tapes, and she was looking through all her songs. Making so fun I, of her. Making fun of her. So I think she is going to come back and save Nancy if Nancy does need saving from the that from Vecna. Is a great prediction. So now, let's get to our the most important predictions. Who is going to bite it? Who is going to die? Who is going to sacrifice themselves for someone else? Basically, are we going to have another Bob situation? Like, what is going to go on? Bob we haven't had too many died. predictions. He could have just ran. What? So, before we go on to that, actually, Alex, we need at least one prediction for the Russian crew. What do you think is going to happen over there? Hopper's too important. Joyce is Will's mom. It's got to be Enzo. It's got to be our... You don't think it's... Is it Larry? Is that his name? Murray. 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 You, think, you don't think it's going to be Murray? You don't think our man Murray I don't Murray's think Black Murray's Black my favorite Murray. character. Black Belt Murray can't die. Okay. okay? If he dies, I don't watch season five. I could do a whole other episode of this I on, could watch on, Murray on the, on the Russian people. trying to be a CIA operative and just taking out the KGB in What the if 80s? he secretly is CIA? Because he's too good. Yeah, he really is. He's got to have some sort of connections. I mean, Do you think that's... Is that a prediction? Is that, her? is that a hot take prediction? Murray is CIA. No, because he also hates it. Because the first oh, time we yeah. meet him, he's all about, like, the government, man. Yeah. Yeah. Because we have throwing off the scent. That could be. There's more to Murray than meets the eye, I think, is what it is. But, okay. Who do you think's dying? Anybody? You think Murray's dying? Anybody? I think Nancy's dead. The opening of part two. I don't think Nancy's making it past the 20 minute mark of episode one of part two. And I think we're ending it with Papa being dead. 
all of those people, all the connections that the kids have that are good ones are all going to be gone. And the only one that's going to be left is the FBI that's trying to kill Eleven. And that's what season five is going to be about. I think Jonathan's going to die. I think Nancy survives. How dare you? I think Eddie might die um, protecting the girls. He, uh, do you think that you think that guitar thing is him being like the distract, like the beam of light saying, kind of. "Hey, motherfucker, I, I, I think, am." I think Eddie's gonna go out with a blaze of glory. Um, I what think Jonathan's gonna try and save Nancy and end up dying, and I think Nancy and Steve are gonna end up getting back together once Jonathan because dies. Jonathan dies. Jonathan either dies or straight up tells Nancy. If we're talking about people that are really gonna die, and I'm thinking about the real world, Steve's dying because he's becoming a famous actor, kind of in the real world. He's becoming more of a known face in movies and stuff like that so he might just do it to get off but who else wants to leave the biggest show out there right now but my final final predictions then final predictions 11's not sisters and brothers not final prediction craziest prediction craziest prediction i can't remember his name but the blonde blue eyes basketball leader is gonna die um he's gonna pop in at the wrong moment for the wrong reasons he's gonna think he found eddie or something like that he's gonna bust in and it's gonna be vecna and vecna's just gonna rip him to shreds and we're all gonna be happy can we just take a moment and say why did the cop or the police officer not stop the uprising from happening he had a microphone in front of him and for five minutes he lets the captain of the basketball team rile up the entire town to go after Eddie, who he knows is innocent. Well, he doesn't know. He doesn't believe the other people that it wasn't Eddie. But what is with that captain of police? Bro, it's the 80s, bro. That chief was irresponsible. People grow up in the 80s. Irresponsible. People in the 80s also thought Ted Bundy was innocent. I think the chief deserves to die because of that. That's my bold prediction. Chief dies. So... Thank you so much for watching our predictions and our hopes and dreams for the part two of Strange Things. This has been The Average Viewer. I'm Matt. I'm Alex. Drive safe, fly safe, and be safe. Like and subscribe. Share with your friends. Have and a great one, guys. Notify. I like it.